Okay, so what I was saying on the previous view graph is that the surface of the Earth is approximately inertial um, despite the fact that we're going around the Sun, which is going hurling through the galaxy, etc. Okay, one more thing to put on our timeline. Okay, so in that's a seven, about 1670, uh, Isaac Newton um, formulated um, fundament the, his fundamental uh, relations of dynamics. which is sometimes called kinematics. Okay. And uh, we all know this, um, that F equals MA can also be expressed as mass times, the, okay, hold on a second. Let's Go down just a little. Okay, so we know that F equals MA. Another way to express this is that it's equal to the mass times the derivative of the velocity in time, which is equal to the derivative of the momentum. P is the momentum. Okay, so um, what this means, right, is that that when F equals zero, for the external the, the sum of the external forces on an object is zero, then the momentum is constant. And so Newton, uh, Newton's laws give us a definition. for an inertial frame, which we haven't given precisely. And I don't know, you could debate whether this is a precise definition either, but it's a working one. And that is that every inertial frame moves with uniform velocity, it's constant velocity with respect to every other inertial frame. Now, this sounds a bit circular, um, but again, it's a relative thing. You, you define um, motion basically with respect to other objects that are in motion, possibly. Okay, so this is, um, this is a good definition for an inertial frame. Okay, now let's move on to um, Gal the Galilean transform. So mathematically, how do we transform uh, measured quantities such as the speed or position uh, in one inertial frame from one inertial frame to another. Okay, so let's start this off just by, let's just set up a sort of a thought problem here. Uh, imagine that we have two people, Anna and Bob, and Anna is riding in a in a Trax car moving at speed V relative to Bob who is standing on the standing on the ground. 